Hi and welcome to another video. I'm Annika from Event Partners and today we want to wish our friends, colleagues, uh, our viewers uh, and clients a very very happy midsummer and in Sweden we say glad midsummer. So um, in honor of our uh, Swedish friends we want to show you today how to make cinnamon swirls and this is a traditional Swedish recipe and um, that I have inherited from my Swedish mother. I find when you make a good few, so I'm going to just make a half the amount today because it's kind of a little bit easier, but if you want to make twice or double the amount, you can pop them in your freezer and then just take them out or heat them up in the oven or the microwave and it's the nicest feeling in the world when you're sitting doing your work at home or you're sitting in your garden and you want to have a cup of coffee at 11 o'clock and you take one of your cinnamon buns out of your freezer um, and you will enjoy that then with your cup of tea or coffee, which is really, really lovely. But anyway, I'm gonna get started. So what we need for this part here um, is some fresh yeast, 50 grams of this. And if you live in Ireland, it might be slightly hard to get um, hold of fresh yeast. So I buy this in the Polish food shop or you can buy it in some bakeries as well. So I'm just gonna crumble it up here into my bowl. And then what I do is I just put a tiny bit of sugar over it just to kind of help it um, with the process a little bit quicker. And then what I've done here is I've melted 75 grams of butter and added 250 milliliters of milk and I've made this mixture here. What's really, really important is that this mixture is lukewarm. It cannot be too hot and it cannot be too cold. So if it is a bit bit too hot you just have to wait a while until it is lukewarm really important so what you do is you pour a little bit of the mixture over the fresh yeast and the sugar and you dissolve it okay like so and once all the bits of yeast have melted into this mixture here you can then start pouring the rest in but what I want to say to you is that in this case, I've actually used almond milk because I actually find that it gives the cinnamon swirls a bit of a nicer flavor and it makes them a bit more fluffy. But you can of course use uh, normal milk, which is the original recipe. But what I wanted to tell you is that you can make these uh, cinnamon buns completely vegan if you want to. So what you do is you just use almond milk or oat milk is actually uh, almost better. Um, and then you can use um, vegetable, um, kind of uh, margarine and then um, that's it uh, so you can just replace the products and I can give you the recipes for both normal ones and vegan ones so that's a, that has now um, kind of dissolved and I'm going to just pour the rest of this mixture in here now now this is the easy bit so we're just going to put uh, the tiny bit of salt in and uh, a teaspoon of cardamom I love the smell of cardamom, so in here. Um, it might also, again, be a little bit difficult to get hold of if you don't live in Sweden, um, but here you can buy it in the normal um, health food shops even. Uh, they sell it now, uh, or in um, some delicatessen stores, or you can also just uh, grind it yourself because you can buy the flowers, I think, in most supermarkets. Then you add your sugar. It's um, one deciliter in switch but we'll do 100 milliliters if you have a little measuring cup 100 milliliters of sugar and then you just have this liquid and then you just start pouring the flour in now you can use um, cream flour um, ordinary plain flour or you can use strong bread flour i actually am starting to use um Italian bread flour because I always find like they rise really nicely. So this is Italian bread flour, but you can use strong flour, plain flour. It, it really makes no difference because the yeast is going to do the job. So this is a bit of a bit of a tiny bit of a tedious process. You just have to pour this in. I never like saying how much flour goes into this because it is a bit individual on how much liquid you have. So for this recipe, I would say about 450 grams to 500 grams of flour, but you will see when the dough comes together how much you actually need. So we just pour in some more until all the flour is gone. Until it all comes together to a nice dough, and then we're going to take it out onto um, floured, table and then we're just going to like knead it for a small little while. Now 
Now, I'm just going to take this out now and just bring it together really quickly. So you see it's not actually very difficult at all. And you soon have your very first dough ready to go. <laughs> now, this is super easy. So you just bring it together and the first time, when the uh, dough is about to proof after this, you don't have to knead it for very long. The second time you knead it for longer. The first time you just knead it so that the dough just about comes together. So it is actually, it is actually much quicker than you, you think. <laughs> and not that hard. Okay, so it's come together nicely now. And so, do you see it like this? So we're going to leave this dough rest in a um, draft-free environment. So usually I would just leave it by um, my oven and um, then I would leave it 30 minutes, okay? So 30 minutes for the dough to proof. So I'll just pop that in here and I'll put a, a kitchen towel over it not to disturb it. Okay, so this part is really easy. So while your dough is proofing for the 30 minutes, you can just prepare the filling for the cinnamon swirls really quickly in between. So all you need for that is 100 grams of butter. So I'm just gonna pop that in here into this bowl that I'm gonna use just to, to mix it afterwards with a handheld mixer, but I'll spare you the noise. So I'm putting that in here. Uh, one, um, 100 milliliters of sugar again, or one deciliter, and then about four tablespoons of uh, cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And that's all and then I'm just going to mix this up and leave that be um, on the side and then when my dough is ready I will show you how to knead it how to roll it out and how to put the cinnamon mixture on and actually they're not that complicated sure they're not okay so I have all confidence in you so I'll be back in just a moment okay perfect so after 30 minutes the dough should have risen to about twice the size but don't worry if it hasn't either because they're gonna proof again so what I want to do now, so it looks a bit bigger than before, a bit fluffier, so what we're going to do is we're just going to flour the surface, and we we'll probably need quite a good bit of flour uh, just um, while we're kneading this. Okay, so just take it out like that, and it should be really soft and fluffy, okay? So I'm going to just start kneading this, and my, my Swedish mom gave me a good, good tip one day. You have to knead this 100 times, okay? So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to knead it 100 times. Okay, so when you're done with the kneading, you should have a really shiny dough, okay? And it should not be um, sticky at all, and it should not be um, sort of too dry either. So that's why we gradually add the flour, okay? So not too much from the beginning because we don't want a really like floury dough because then that'll be really dry. So this way, it's actually nice and shiny. And we're going to um, put lots of flour onto the surface here. If you have a larger dough, like when I was saying to you that if you could make double or twice the amount, you would cut it into three parts. Um, and each part you would roll out into a rectangle, but I'm just gonna use this one part now. So really nice. And then we're going to use our cinnamon butter sugar mixture. And uh, I didn't mention earlier, but it would be, be good if the um, uh, butter would be room temperature so that it's easier to spread. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread this on. Ah, perfect, like that. Okay, and now to the fun part. And you want to see how quick this really is. So it really isn't very complicated. You just make a roll. You just roll it into a big roll like this. See how actually this is not complicated at all. You're all well capable of this. And we're going to just take this roll and cut it into about two centimeter thick rolls. And I have prepared a baking tray here. And we're just going to pop them in here. Like so. Okay, perfect. So now I've just put them 
on into the paper cases and I'm going to let them proof again by the oven covered with either um, a cling film or um, um, towel, a kitchen towel. And after 30 minutes, I'll be back to you. Thank you. Okay, so after 30 minutes of proofing, they should have um, gotten a little bit bigger again and flattened down a little bit, so they look like this now. And also, uh, about 10 minutes ago, I turned the oven on to about 220 degrees, so the oven should be quite hot. Um, and I'm just going to put some egg wash on these swirls now to make them nice and shiny when they come out. But again, if you want to use the vegan version of these buns, um, what you can do is you just boil um, 50 milliliters of water and 50 grams of sugar and then you just boil it and when the um, swirls come out of the oven you just um, put that sugar water mixture um, onto your buns to make them shiny as well. So you won't need egg if you don't want to use it. Now I like this. So very easy and they're going to go into the hot oven now. Um, I don't like giving an exact time uh, on how long they have to be in the oven, usually between um, five and eight minutes, but again, I would just keep an eye on them, so after maybe three or four minutes, just keep an eye on them, they, they should be golden brown. I'm going to sprinkle them with this special Swedish sugar called Pal Sucker, and uh, in Germany it's called Hagelzucker, I don't think we have it in Ireland, but um, if you don't have it, you could also... Um, just put some um, icing sugar and water and like drizzle it over them when they come out of the oven. So you don't necessarily need this, but this is the traditional Swedish kind of sugar that you put on. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to pop these in the oven for a few minutes and then we can sample them soon. Okay, so this is the finished results. Some really nice, soft, warm cinnamon buns and there's a few things that are as nice as the cinnamon swirl that has just come out of the oven and ready to be consumed. So I hope um, you're going to uh, be really successful with your own cinnamon buds and uh, we're going to enjoy a uh, Swedish filka, uh, that's what we call uh, coffee and cake uh, in Sweden. So enjoy and uh, glad midsommar, uh, happy midsummer to all of you and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really soon again. Bye!